In this quick video, we will discuss how we can set menu items to selected using selection groups, and we will prepare for adding interaction to our slider tabs. One other thing we must do is add a selection group. What's a selection group, you ask? To explain this concept, I'll explain what you had to do before selection groups existed. If you wanted to create a menu, you usually created some logic to set a given item to a selected state. Uh, you then also had to write more logic to change the state of any existing selected item. Cumbersome. Selection grouping does the latter operation automatically for you. When you assign a selected state to an item in the group, other items in the group are reverted to their default state in the background. Nice. If you remember, we didn't need to do this earlier with our primary menu because we used a pre-built menu widget with this logic built in. When you create custom menus, which you'll inevitably do quite a lot if you plan on using Axio beyond its basic capabilities, you will need to use selection groups. Let's create a selection group for our slider menu now. We select our items, right click and choose selection group to open the selection group dialog. You'll see a drop down here so you can select existing groups. There aren't any yet. We'll create a new one by choosing a name, slider tabs, and click OK. We can see or indeed add selection group info from the widget properties tab. We will see the fruits of our labor in the next video where we add interaction to our slider tabs.